welcome to RC Foam Fighters. Today we're doing a review on the Marvi Uchida um, Hot Wire Foam Cutter. Uh, this is a very useful tool for cutting out foam. It is a table, small tabletop version of a hot wire. Um, it comes in very useful for cutting out foam pieces. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the features. Um, this unit will run on either batteries or you can plug it into the wall. On the bottom you can put four D-cell batteries that actually come with the unit. Um, both me and Paul found this at a local Michaels here and we bought it for right about $40. Um, it also has a screw that you can loosen on the side and the arm will fold down into the slot making it uh, portable and you can take it places and use it with the batteries. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, show you how this works now. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and use the small portable tabletop hot wire uh, to cut out the shape of uh, my second plane that I'm doing for the bulletproof build along. This is 30 millimeter EPP foam. Um, basically all you want to do is come over to the switch and choose which power you want to use, battery or the wall power. So I'm going to click it over to wall power and the light will come on and the wire will get hot. Um, because this sheet is so big and it won't reach all the way in, um, I'm going to have to make two passes. So I'm going to trim some of it off first. Um, this will cut through the foam pretty quick. Um, you just want to make sure that you're holding it flat on the table and you want to kind of keep it at a steady speed and just push it through. Once I get this piece trimmed off, I should be able to follow the line when I make the second pass. Um, the hot wire will leave a nice clean cut on the foam because it's actually melting through it. Um, you want to be very careful not to touch the wire because I believe it gets up to a temperature of close to 400 degrees. Alright, when you're making the cut on the line, you want to take your time and follow it as straight as you can um, because if you wander, you will get a crooked line. Um, usually I like to cut it just a little oversized, that way if I have to, I can clean it up with sanding or with the rasp. Table. And try and follow the line as straight as you can. go too fast because then the wire starts to wander. And like I said, if this line isn't 100% straight, we can always straighten it out with the sanding blocks or with the rasp if it's off by quite a bit. It's definitely a lot easier to cut the thicker foam like this with the hot wire than to try and cut through it with a knife or a box cutter. And you just want to 
want to try and keep your hands or as steady as you can as you cut through it. And with EVP foam, it's easiest to clean it up by just rubbing the two pieces together to get off all the little shavings. And it will leave a fairly clean cut on the end of the foam. And when you're done, turn off the power and be careful, don't touch the wire because it stays warm for a little bit. Okay, as you can see, uh, the small uh, portable tabletop hot wire does a good job of cutting out foam. Um, it is definitely a useful tool to have if you're getting into scratch building RC planes. Um, I would give this a 4 out of 5 star rating. The only reason I don't give it a 5 star rating is because of the size of it. Um, it would be nicer if it was a little bit bigger so that you wouldn't have to waste some of the foam, especially on the larger pieces when you're cutting it. It just won't get in that deep. Um, again, like I said, me and Paul found this at Michaels for about $40. Um, some of the other craft stores may also carry it. Um, if you can't find it at any of the craft stores, I suggest doing a search on the internet. Um, just search under Uchida Hot Wire Foam Cutter and you should be able to find it on eBay and I believe um, Amazon also carries it as well. Again, I believe this is a pretty useful tool, especially for doing scratch building RC planes.